<laughs> hey now, getting back into it. I um, wanted to jump into the radiator mount. I had busted this um, bolt off and ordered this rig from eBay, as you can see down there. Um, it's supposed to come with a standoff, um, but as you can see, the standoff provided in this kit um, is nowhere near um, the level. I don't know if that, can, if that even demonstrates it. Yeah, I mean, just give you an idea how far it was off. Um, there's not even enough material to bend it up. So <clears throat> we, uh, we kind of mocked it up. I drilled it out. I got new hardware in. This one has a backing nut. That one still had threads over here. So this got cinched up really nice. Um, what else? I also found a, kind of a messed up, but um, found a new body um, screw for this this one up here. So that panel sucked in. And then I don't know if you caught it when I opened up the video here, but I just have this mocked up right now. But here is the uh, Type R front lip. It looks a little goofy to me right here. Um, I don't know if I've got it mocked up right. It's like I catch myself looking at it and being like, yeah, it looks good. And then I'll look at it again and it just looks like shit. In any case, I I think I like it. And we're going to put this on in a way that's not eBay um, specific. So as an example, um, they've given me four screws to do this job. Um, those will go in the corners apparently, but I've got a ton of hardware and locking washers and that kind of stuff. Um, shout out Squirt. Your girlfriend, she giving me kisses. This is my little girlfriend doggy. I think one of the first things we're going to do is get this shop cleaned up. Before we get anything else going, we need to get our work area set.
Took it right out of my hand. I don't think I'm being honest with myself. It's like a hundred degrees in here or something like that. Yeah, you can't see, but it's like close to about 200 degrees in here or something. Is I'll get in um, just about right here with an eight mil on both sides. I've got a couple of clips here and then a string of them to go whoops, across the bottom lip here. So I'll set you up with a time lapse and we'll just get this bumper off real quick. Gonna do a couple of things today, this evening, this afternoon, tonight, this morning, tomorrow. installing those fog lights I've got to get this ran into either a relay and or um, the battery get it on a switch inside and make sure it's clean and not ugly so that'll be part of this job holy cow um, take a look at this multi-point I guess this is a single point ground where all this Little voltage comes through. Let me get you down here so you can see this cluster. We have a flood car here, and this single point ground is absolutely um, mechanically bonded uh, in this vicinity. I don't know if it's worth me cleaning this up. And let's see, what else can we mock up here? Um, it looks like these will go in here, something like that. And just to be fancy, here's the other one, and it'll go in here. Like that. First things first, I just got skadooshed in the chestal region here. flying all over it's hot black plastic but uh we got the job done on this side i think the rough cut out here let's take a look uh looks pretty straight to me pretty good for not using my dremel at all i'm going to clean up the edges but first i'm going to check the fitment and see how close i got real quick you can see on this one I, I didn't have to trim all of this material out at all and I was able to kind of hug it really tightly um, this one's like stuck in there it's not all the way in but uh, this one I completely gutted this because that's what the layout of that looks like and until I get it screwed in it is not going to stay up there so it's gonna be dumb looking on this side Maybe not. 
Now, some of you might be asking what this gonzo beaked thing is, and well, you guessed it. It just, you know, gives you a little when you got the old. So, yeah, what that did is it helped me get into these screws uh, into this little area right in here. Uh, these two screws came with this kit. I don't like them whatsoever, but hey, it came. It's in there. Um, there's another one there I could probably lock in. I may do that. We'll see. Um, again, this one's the ugly one, but it's in as well. Um, there's quite a bit more air gap there, but this one will definitely get the extra screws. So, yeah, one step down of 97. Go. Yeah, I think it looks good. What do y'all think? Yeah, we're coming together now. Coming together now. All right, let's let's do this. Let's turn this music off so I don't get YouTube struck. I give you all the, uh, the old side view there. I think it looks pretty good. This was the bad side. Um, there's a couple of air gaps there. Not as bad as some of the guys I've seen on. This was my good side. Uh, no gabbage. And we're super secure here. This thing needs to be pressure washed so bad. Look at this like mold and like old crapola all the way underneath this. Luckily, Somebody got himself a brand new pressure washer. All right, so now the next part is I gotta wire all that up um, and see if that's gonna work. But what I'd like to do before and what I should have done beforehand is test to see if those things even work. Uh, but right now we're gonna probably set up a time lapse on getting the circuits lined out. And then, uh, or maybe I'll take a break, I don't know. I got these dumbass little one mil um, zip ties for the routing of this uh, electric, and I just I can't even give myself. I, you do this once, you don't want to get back in there and do it again. So I just hustled up some of these zip ties to kind of like strengthen this thing. <laughs>
think we do like that. That doesn't feel right. That does. Look at that. Feels pretty good. Might not come out in this sequence, but that is really all I need. Hey, there's a feather in there, Lily. A little effort here, I'd have this thing with. You know, I like this tool, but it is um, annoying to try to balance. Like the, like these clips are too long. And so I wonder if it would behoove me to, you know what I mean? Just clip them back so that they actually catch. So again, just real quick, um, these arms right here, they're just too long. It has a good seat, it's all flush and everything, but these are too long to actually get behind the panel to connect. So I'm gonna carve just a hair of those off. All right, we're still in business here. Um, I wish that would focus. Yeah, you can see here, uh, I've got that cut back just a bit. So let's see if that works in there. Oh, it's really close. There. Now it doesn't push. This is the move. Is it though? Did I mess this up? Am I still recording? Because if so, I have to bring this in a little closer. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like too deep. Um, you could not do that. I mean, you could flush connect it here. I'd have to like cut out a thing, which is it. That's so gross. Well, it's the only place with a spare switch. And I suppose I, I could theoretically cut this in. Um, it's not impossible to do so. I could get bold, guys. I could get real bold. See, this one sets back in there. So we'll plug this in. We'll take this over to the old workbench. And do some custom engineering. It's going to look pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this in, and I'll take you back into it in a second. Hey, we're in there. Should take a look. Looks like crap, but we're happy. to check to see what relay had power but I was so safe that I disconnected the batteries so yeah
check the fitment of the lid. That's how this goes every time, though. Hey! And then that will work. And then the fuse, and then it gets kind of like hidden, and then this will go. Oh, I almost did it, didn't I? Did you guys see that? I almost lost that. Let's bring you in here for a little shot. Let's see what I'm looking at. Right there, the shiny spot down in here. I'm gonna get that. Hey y'all, I think we did it. I'm running out of storage on the Chingadera, but I'm gonna button this up and I'll get you some final shots. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, some little defects here and there, some challenges we had to get over. Um, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, trying to get to 50 subscribers. Uh, hopefully with this video, it's the 50th episode. Uh, we made quite a bit of progress on the Honda. We'll be getting it down to the machine shop to take a look at stuff here very shortly. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Take care.